The following report is one of a series of reports to the nation by Roger L. McBride, Libertarian Party candidate for President of the United States. This year, perhaps as never before, millions of Americans are looking for an alternative to the candidates of the two traditional parties. Consider the ideas of Roger McBride. He may be the alternative you're looking for. Americans have recently experienced double-digit inflation, and a vote for Ford or for Carter ensures that we're going to have it again perhaps next year. There's nothing complicated about inflation. Inflation is just an increase in the money supply prompted by Washington. There are those who say inflation is the result of greedy businessmen or greedy consumers or greedy labor unions, but of course it's not. Inflation is just what the word implies. It's an inflation of the money supply, which impoverishes every single one of us. Mr. Carter says he isn't worried about increasing the money supply. With a view like that, I wonder that he can be taken seriously as a presidential candidate. Mr. Ford proposes a hundred billion dollar boondoggle, paying money to the special interest oil companies, which can't help but increase inflation in this country. Have these men no compassion? Don't they understand how the poor feel, how the elderly on fixed pensions feel, when their money erodes in value? Apparently not. I suggest that a vote for a libertarian policy of a massive reduction in the size of government, a massive reduction in those things that increase the money supply, is the only way to ensure that there never again is inflation in this country. Mr. McBride, much of what you say will not be popular with big business. What about small business? Small business has its back to the wall in this country. It's overregulated, it's overtaxed, and everyone involved in it knows about the reams of paperwork that have to be filled out every week. Furthermore, it's harassed by agencies like OSHA, which presume to tell them how to run their affairs. That agency's only five years old, but it's cost the American economy over $50 billion and has done nothing to reduce the frequency of accidents in the industrial sector of this nation. There's a lot of talk every year about uh, reducing taxes. Do you think that actually can be done? Every year, Americans are used to Democrats and Republicans saying that they want to reduce taxes. And the year after, Americans are used to the fact that taxes have gone up, uh, including Social Security taxes. There's only one way to do the job, and that's to select a new broom, such as the Libertarian Party, to sweep these politicians out of office and to put into positions of authority, people who mean what they say and who are going to take a meat axe to the size of the federal government and to the tax bill that we now have. There is no other way. You won't hear Mr. Ford or Mr. Carter discussing the fact that the average American pays 40% of his income in taxes each year at all levels of government. That's one of the reasons for the existence of the Libertarian Party. There are too many areas where the Republicans and Democrats are in total agreement. We say there ought to be a massive reduction in taxes. The idea of Americans paying more to the federal government and to local governments than the medieval serfs paid their kings is absurd. A vote for anyone other than the Libertarian Party in this election is meaningless if you want to reduce taxes. Support for Roger McBride and the Libertarian Party is growing daily. The National Observer says of McBride, his views are like fresh air, and he's been winning converts from the liberal and conservative camps at a surprising rate. Join the movement for a fresh new dawn in presidential politics. Vote for Roger McBride. Your financial support is urgently needed. Send whatever you can afford, $10, $20, $100, to McBride for President, Box 1776, Chicago, Illinois. That's McBride for President, Box 1776, Chicago, Illinois.